What if one morning, everything you rely on just stopped working? No power, no internet, no phones. Total blackout. The culprit? An invisible threat from 93 million miles away. As we edge closer to 2025, experts warn that solar flares, giant bursts of energy from the sun, could wreak havoc on our modern world. Are we prepared for this cosmic storm? The answers might surprise you. Solar flares are sudden, intense bursts of radiation emanating from the sun. They occur when magnetic energy that is built up in the solar atmosphere is suddenly released. These flares can emit energy across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays and gamma rays. The strongest flares can disrupt satellite communications, navigation systems, and even power grids on Earth. Have you ever wondered how a phenomenon occurring 93 million miles away could impact us so significantly? The Sun, our life-giving star, is a massive nuclear reactor, constantly churning with energy. Occasionally, this energy gets tangled up in magnetic fields, leading to the explosive release we call a solar flare. These flares can be accompanied by coronal mass ejections, CMEs, which are huge bubbles of gas threaded with magnetic field lines that are ejected from the sun over the course of several hours. One of the most significant solar events in recent history was the Carrington event of 1859. This massive solar storm caused widespread telegraph outages and even sparked fires in telegraph offices. If a similar event were to occur today, the consequences could be far more severe due to our reliance on electronic technology. Imagine the chaos if power grids were knocked out across entire continents, leaving millions without electricity for days, weeks, or even months. How prepared are we for such a scenario? Scientists have been closely monitoring solar activity cycles. The sun goes through approximately 11-year cycles of solar activity, known as solar cycles, marked by varying numbers of sunspots. We are currently in solar cycle 25, which began in December 2019. Predictions suggest that the peak of this cycle, known as solar maximum, will occur around 2025. During this period, the sun's activity, including the frequency and intensity of solar flares, is expected to increase. Did you know that in 2012, a solar storm of Carrington magnitude narrowly missed Earth? According to a NASA report, if it had occurred just a week earlier, it would have hit our planet and caused extensive damage to power grids and satellites. This close call serves as a stark reminder of our vulnerability to space weather. Can you imagine the impact of such a storm on today's technology-dependent world? So what are scientists doing to protect us? Agencies like NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, continuously monitor solar activity. They use a fleet of satellites equipped with advanced instruments to observe the sun and detect signs of impending solar flares and CMEs. One such satellite, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOO, has been providing valuable data for over two decades. Moreover, space weather prediction centers provide alerts and forecasts to help mitigate the impacts of solar storms. These forecasts allow power companies, satellite operators, and other critical infrastructure to take precautionary measures, such as temporarily shutting down vulnerable systems or putting satellites into safe mode. Despite these precautions, the potential for a significant solar storm remains. Are we doing enough to prepare for such an event? Consider this. While our technology has advanced, so too has our dependency on it. A severe solar storm could disrupt not just individual devices, but entire power grids, leading to widespread blackouts that could last for days or even weeks. The economic impact of such an event would be staggering. According to a study by the National Academy of Sciences, a severe solar storm could result in damages amounting to one to two trillion dollars in the first year alone with recovery times of up to a decade. This includes losses from disrupted telecommunications, satellite operations, aviation, and the power grid. Have you ever considered how your daily life depends on electricity? Imagine a day without power. No internet, no communication, no transportation. Hospitals, banks, and businesses would all be affected. The ripple effect would be enormous. Could we survive such a disruption? As we approach the peak of Solar Cycle 25, it's crucial to remain vigilant and prepared. Enhancing our infrastructure's resilience to space weather, investing in early warning systems, and developing rapid response strategies are essential steps in mitigating the risks. 
The consequences of solar flares extend beyond just economic damage. Consider the potential impact on our health and safety. Prolonged power outages can lead to a lack of access to clean water, food shortages, and a breakdown in public order. Emergency services would be stretched thin, and the most vulnerable populations would be the hardest hit. How can we ensure that we are prepared to protect not just our infrastructure, but our communities and ourselves? Solar flares are a powerful reminder of the dynamic and sometimes dangerous nature of our universe. While we cannot prevent these cosmic events, we can prepare for them. By staying informed and supporting advancements in space weather research and infrastructure protection, we can better safeguard our society against the potential impacts of solar flares. So, the next time you look up at the sun, remember that it's more than just a bright ball of light in the sky. It's a powerful force that, while providing life, also has the potential to disrupt it. Let's embrace this duality with curiosity and caution, always striving to understand and protect our place in the cosmos. As we look toward the future, let's ask ourselves, what more can we do to prepare for the inevitable? How can we ensure that our society is resilient in the face of such cosmic threats? The answers to these questions will shape not just our response to solar flares, but our overall approach to living in harmony with the dynamic forces of our universe. Stay curious, stay informed, and always be prepared. As we delve deeper into the potential risks posed by solar flares, it's essential to recognize the role of international cooperation in mitigating these dangers. Space weather is a global concern, and its effects are not confined by national borders. Countries around the world are beginning to realize the importance of sharing data and resources to better predict and respond to solar storms. Initiatives such as the International Space Weather Initiative, ESPA, aim to enhance global collaboration in space weather research, providing a platform for scientists and agencies to exchange information and strategies. This collective effort can lead to more accurate predictions and a more coordinated response to solar threats. Another critical aspect to consider is the technological advancements that could help us better withstand the impact of solar flares. Innovations in satellite technology, for example, are making it possible to design more resilient systems that can operate effectively even during solar disturbances. Engineers are developing materials and designs that can withstand intense radiation and magnetic interference. Additionally, advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning are being leveraged to improve the accuracy of space weather forecasts. By using these cutting edge technologies, we can create more robust systems that minimize the risk of catastrophic failures caused by solar flares. Ultimately, public awareness and education are crucial components in preparing for solar flare events. While scientific and technological advancements are essential, they must be complemented by an informed and proactive public. Governments, educational institutions, and media outlets have a responsibility to educate people about the risks associated with solar flares and the steps they can take to protect themselves. Simple measures, such as having emergency supplies, backup power sources, and staying informed about space weather forecasts can make a significant difference in how we handle solar flare-induced disruptions. By fostering a culture of preparedness and resilience, we can ensure that society is better equipped to face the challenges posed by our dynamic sun.